Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, Meghan Markle, the self-proclaimed advocate for powerful and inspiring women, has reportedly been blacklisted from all upcoming Vogue editions. Yes, you heard it right. The Duchess of Sussex, the one who left herself off a Vogue cover to avoid looking boastful, is now facing the cold shoulder from the very industry she tried to champion. Picture this, Vogue's final cover under the helm of Edward Enninful, featuring 40 of the most booked and blessed women on earth. Sounds like a glittering array of star power, doesn't it? From Oprah to Serena Williams, from Jane Fonda to Gigi Hadid, a constellation of influential women. But wait, where's Megan? The one who became chummy with Enninful during her guest editing stint in 2019 is nowhere to be found. Eagle-eyed readers noticed the absence of the Duchess, prompting royal fans to claim that Megan was snubbed by Vogue. Oh, the drama. The speculation and whispers are swirling faster than a royal ballroom dance. Theories abound, from accusations of Meghan being too busy to conspiracies about her being deliberately excluded, and let's not forget the shade thrown on social media, with comments like, now why did Meghan Markle deny us a Vogue cover? But what could be the reason behind this alleged snub? Well, it seems like even the self-proclaimed champions of diversity and unity have their limits. Reports suggest that Meghan's supposed fallout with Enninful during the creation of Vogue's September 2019 issue might have played a part. According to sources, staff were left in silent exasperation due to Meghan's alleged poor ideas and difficulty in handling opposing suggestions. The royal biographer, Tom Bauer, claims in his book that Meghan and Enninful had differences on marketing strategies, with Meghan wanting to leak snippets online before the release, while the editor preferred secrecy. The tension supposedly reached a point where Meghan even suggested the magazine hit the shelves in the US before the UK, causing a stir with the head of communications, Sarah Latham. And let's not forget the whispers surrounding Meghan's reputation as being difficult to work with. The recent departure of Bennett Levine, the manager of Artwell Productions, which worked on the Netflix docuseries featuring Harry and Meghan, only adds fuel to the fire. Rumors of Meghan's challenging demeanor seem to be gaining traction, leaving industry insiders and fans alike questioning her professional relationships. Now, some might argue that Meghan's absence from Vogue's cover is a mere coincidence, a minor blip in her Hollywood dreams. But in the grand theater of celebrity and fashion, this perceived snub might just be the last nail on the coffin of Meghan's A-list aspirations. The royal fans, who once admired her as a trailblazer, are now questioning her star power and whether her dreams of Hollywood glory are slipping away. As we witness the end of this chapter in Meghan's tumultuous journey, it leaves us wondering, is this the beginning of the end for Meghan's Hollywood dreams? Or will she rise from the ashes of this Vogue controversy and prove the naysayers wrong? Only time will tell, but one thing is for sure, the saga of Meghan Markle continues to unfold in unexpected twists and turns. So what do you think about this news, guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's discussion. As always, I encourage you to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.